Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name in the ancient Hebrew. Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten Son, the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Peace, grace, and mercy be upon the house of David, Dabayatha Dabada, which is the elect of men, women, and children that are predestined to receive salvation and to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, who I learned the truth from, and peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the men that's preaching the gospel to, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, and, and truth and sincerity. All right, um, so real quick, you know, just wanted to get into this uh, scripture. Um, I was just meditating on it, you know, and uh, basically going into how the righteous wants to wants revenge. All right, the right the righteous they want uh, we want revenge. You know, willing, you know, uh, uh, we are part of that. The hopeful elect, I should say. Okay, the hopeful elect, the house of David. Okay, they want revenge on their adversaries, man. All right, and, and you know that that's that's a a, a clear uh, you know distinction between a man of the Lord and you know uh, you know these 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 uh, pretenders and these guys out here that are you know um, you know these people Jake out here that are just docile, man. All right, because you know here it is we we're. We're in the land of our captivity, okay? This, uh, our enemy is reigning over us. And every day he shows you, you know, he shows us that, that he is not for our, our, uh, uh, benefit. You know, he's not for our, um, you know, for our, our health, man. He's not, he's not for, he's not, he's not here to, to make our lives, you know, uh, uh, better, man. Okay. But Jake wants to, wants to, you know, roll over. Jake wants to, you know, always, always, you know, uh, forgiven, okay, or trying to forget what this devil has done, man. But as the scripture says, you know, the Lord requires the things that are of the past, man. All right. And it's not even just in the past that this devil, all right, persecuted us. You know, it's not just, you know, during the time of slavery, all right, during the time of, uh, you know, the hundred years of lynching afterwards, okay, the, uh, the Jim Crow uh, era, <coughs> you know, the segregation time. It's even up until this this very same day, man. All right, Jake is still being uh, 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 oppressed by you know chiefly the so-called uh, uh, white man, the Edomites, man. All right, the Edomites of the Bible. All right, because as the scripture tells you that uh, Esau has a perpetual hatred uh, for Jacob, man. All right, and and that and that hatred has not gone anywhere. All right, it hasn't it hasn't ceased. It hasn't you know just up and vanished. And now, and now Edomites love uh, Israelites. No, man, this, this thing was pre preordained from the womb, man. Okay, the, the scripture tells you that two men or people should be separated from the bows. So we can't, we can't live in harmony, all right? We can't be a cosmos with uh, our, our uh, enemy, man, with, with uh, you know, uh, spe uh, specifically Esau, okay? That, it just can't, that's not how it was set up. All right, tells you that Ecclesiasticus, I believe the 33rd chapter, that what? Uh, that a good is set against evil, man. All right. But this is uh, Psalms 58, verse 10. It says, the righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the revenge, when he shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked. Okay. So the righteous are going to rejoice in that day, man. You know, <coughs> you have a lot of people that say, oh, how could you? You know, want to put slavery is bad. If you're saying you, if you're saying um, that that if you're saying that they were wrong for putting you in slavery, then why why do you want to put them in slavery? First of all, you know uh, we're we're the chosen man. We're the apple of the Lord's eye, man. Okay, and the scripture tells you that these nations were created for uh, you know for our possession. All right, and secondly. This devil, when he put us in slavery, he forwarded the affliction, man. He did, he did, you know, uh, unimaginable wickedness when he had us in slavery, man. There's there, there's laws, there's there's laws in the scriptures on slavery, man. And this devil didn't keep not not one single law on on slavery, all right. And that's why he's going to be rewarded double. Now, when we put his ass in slavery, everything that we're going to do to him is going to be righteous, okay? And it's going to be just, man. All right? He's going to he's going to receive the recompense of his of his error, man. He's going to receive the recompense of his of his wickedness. Okay? And we're going to rejoice 
when we see the re when we see that revenge, man. Yahweh Shai is waiting for revenge, man. The scripture tells you that the day of vengeance is in his heart, is in his mind. So we, if if Yahweh Shai be be in us, okay, as he says in uh, Revelation the third chapter that he was up with us, then what 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 do you expect the type of mentality of a man of the Lord to be in? And that's how you know a lot of these men are, especially in the Christian church, they not they don't got the spirit, the Holy Spirit of of the Son of the Most High. Yahweh shot in them, man. Because they're not talking about revenge on their adversaries, man. They're not talking about the day of vengeance. They're not talking about uh, um, the faith and the patience of the saints. All right? And what is that? Let me get that. What, are the, what, is, what are we waiting for, man? When you, when you go into the word uh, patience, that means to wait. Right? That means to wait. So what are we waiting for? The kingdom of heaven. And what comes with the kingdom of heaven? Dominion. Rulership. Revenge. All right, revenge on our enemies, man, and not just Esau, but all these, all these heathens, man. The, the scripture says that we're going to devour all them that devoured us, man, and that's every nation. Okay, the first thousand years of the kingdom of heaven, we're going to be conquering and ruling. All right, and with 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 a with a uh, with 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 rigor, man. Okay, it's going to be with rigor. Because that's what happens in, in war, man. Whenever, whenever uh, a, a, a kingdom or a nation wins a war, what happens? They 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 plunder, they spill, uh, pillage and plunder, and that's what we gonna do, okay? And we gonna take back what's rightfully inherently ours, man. All right, starting chiefly with Yahweh Shai, because he is the inheritant, the inheritor of this world. But he said he, he's gonna make us joint heirs, man. So when we get joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. All right, we're going to inherit the what? The earth. The meek shall inherit the earth. But it's Revelation 3, 13, verse 10. It says, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the, is the patience and the faith of the saints, man. This is what we have faith in. All right, that the Lord is going to give us the, the, the victory over our enemies, man. When you go into the book of Luke, a part of the salvation, not only from the indignation of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay, upon this earth, all right, upon the wicked wickedness of this earth, all right, but the, uh, uh, a part of that salvation is also uh, also being saved from our enemies, man, okay, being saved from the hand of them that hate us. That's a part of the salvation. Now, if you don't think that you got enemies, which a lot of you, you simple-minded jakes all right you don't think that you have enemies then you don't have nothing ultimately you're saying you have nothing to be saved from okay and the enemy the enemy that we have man he has power over us right now man he has rulership a dominion over us and that's why we're waiting for the lion of the tribe of judah to return man because he's the only one that can that can deliver us he is the deliverer from the hand of them that hate us man okay but the faith, the patience and the faith of the saints is, is to get revenge, man. And that's why we're going to rejoice in that day. All right. Pursuant to Psalms 1. Uh, let me get that and I'll close it out. Psalms 150, uh, 149. I'm going to start at verse uh, 6. It says, let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people. So we're going to be praising Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai while executing vengeance upon these uh, upon the heathen, man. All right. And, and that starts with you Esau, man. OK, our arch nemesis and punishments upon the people and the revenge is going to be a punishment, man. All right. The slavery, the 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 kingdom of heaven for for you devils is not going to be nothing nice, man. All right. Even for the first thousand years, it's not going to be nothing nice for all these nations. All right. They're going to be in hardcore rigorous slavery man punishments it says to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron what is that man if you bind a king with chains that means you've overtaken his his dominion all right and you bound him you put him in in in, in shackles that's slavery okay and their nobles with fetters of iron to execute upon them the judgment written this honor have all his saints praise ye Yahweh. Bashim Yahweh Shai. And it's going to be an honor, all right? And it's going to be glory 
to be a part of that fold, man, to be a part of that first dominion, to have this honor to to put these other nations in captivity, man. They're, they're kings, they're noble ones, just like how they did it to us, man, okay? They, they took our kings, our children, our noble ones, our priests, and they put us into slavery, and the same thing we're going to do unto these other nations, man, and we're going to rejoice in that day. We ain't going to have no pity, all right? So with that, call Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Shalom.